Rublev taking on the Frenchman Gail Monfils. Bonjour, comment allez-vous, all my Frenchmen and women on the check-in. And Rublev, listen, the head-to-head is 1-1, but Rublev is currently a top 10 player. That's right, guys. As high as number five in the nation, while Gail reaching as high as number six. Rublev's had a pretty darn solid career. He's got 13 championships. Gail's got half of that. 10 years the senior. But listen, guys, Rublev is just taking advantage of someone that's exhausted. Gail Monfils is exhausted out there. And I think with his age, you know, going back the last four seasons, he hasn't really played more than 20 matches. So as an athlete, I I can tell you right off the bat, his form is just it's not there. Although he gives great effort every time he comes out, a lot of that's based on his natural raw athletic ability. But we had a saying when we play, you know, when you get someone with happy feet, you take advantage of that. And I think Gale would be a much solid player, even at his age, if he probably uses his athletic ability in burst, right? Because a lot of times, if you watch Gale on the offensive attack, amazing. But he's not the best returner, right? His defense can improve. The same with Rublev. Rublev is a decent returner if he could win the points in a few shots or less. But other than that, Rublev is not a great uh, defensive player. And Gale is not either because I think Gale, a lot of players, especially the great players, I mean, he's literally, Novak has dominated him. They use his athletic ability to his disadvantage that's right guys they it's easy i think he overplays right he overextends and overplays because of his raw speed and great footwork and it's easy to really really you know hit him with a one-two punch and just get him going left and then just go deep right down the line because he overextends with his speed and athletic ability and that's the the perfect example with that is for example let's take football you know you have a team that loves to blitz Well, if you have an athletic quarterback that can get that ball out on the one-two drop or maybe even the third drop and very fast and explosive, they're going to beat you for the deep ball. And a lot of times, Gale gets beat with the deep ball because he overextends, he overplays, and he overcommits a lot, you know, and that happens a lot in sports like tennis, football, basketball. You get a defender that has happy feet and he's coming forward you he's coming towards you. If you're a very fast, explosive, offensive player, once you get them out of position, and a lot of times you could do that just by being in the triple threat, get a defender that overplays, they're going to give up a basket. So you have to be solid and disciplined with your footwork, especially on defense, because you get beat a lot. And we see that a lot with Gail Monfils. Now, Rublev is literally, he would literally have his fifth 50-win season in a row if Look, he he was robbed of one win a few years ago. But nonetheless, Rublev, he's a solid player, guys. And this is a match he's going to win, in my opinion, because Gail is just, he's exhausted and he's overplaying. And Rublev is taking advantage of that. Every point Rublev is winning right now, Gail is nowhere in the frame. He's exhausted. He's tired. And I felt for a lot of his career, the smart players used his athletic ability against him. I think if he was a little bit more patient on defense, offense is a different thing, right? Because we know the surfer wins most of those games anyways. But on defense, I think he can be a little bit more patient. Rublev headed to victory here.